Mina, and today I will be guiding Parsva Bakasana Side Pro. Lower down onto your mat, onto Virasana Warrior Seated Position, heels underneath your bum. Roll your shoulders back, don't hunch your back and don't arch your back. We'd like to lengthen with a straight back, core engaged. We're going to do some wrist exercises. Place your right hand up and using your left hand, gently pull back four fingers with your palm facing out. For three, two, one. And press the back of your hand so that your palms are facing towards you. Three, two, one. And release onto our next hand. Use your right hand to gently pull back your four fingers on your left hand. Three, two, one. And release. Press the back of your hand so your palms face towards you. Three, two, one. And from here, take your wrists into balls or fists and rotate and counterclockwise and clockwise. And connect your fingers, interlace your fingers and reach out, palms facing out above your head and just in front of you. And rotate to the side, placing your fingertips towards you. And gently lean back however far you can go for a stretch. Three, two, one. Back of our hands onto the mat, so palms facing towards us and lean back. And from here, we're going to lean towards our right side of our body. Palms shoulder width apart, fingers widespread for support. Almost as if your hands are like a crow's feet. Widespread, large surface area. And from here, we're going to lean into our wrists. In this position, when we do eventually take flight, our shoulders will be stacked above our wrists. Never too forward and never too back. So from here, we're leaning in and on to the left side as well to balance it out. Great. We're now going to go into a dolphin plank so that we can engage our core and also feel and strengthen our shoulders, our triceps and our forearms. So with your forearms onto the mat, interlace your hands if you feel it feels best or just in parallel to your shoulder length. We will go into our dolphin plank. Engage your glutes, core, tuck in your tailbone and tuck in your belly button. We'll be here for five breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. And lower down. Repeat that about three, three sets. Three sets of dolphin planks at five counts. So returning to Virasana seated pose, roll your shoulders back. Feel the weight of your upper body again, leaning into your hands and wrists. Okay, we're ready. In crouched position on your toes, feel your thighs engaged. Internally rotate your thighs and also keep your knees closed. We would not want our knees to fall to the side because when we fly, we will need to be compact. Knees will need to be connected as well as the toes when we take flight. So give a hug to yourself before you go on this journey and turn to the right side to get into place. Your left tricep is going to be leaning against the connection between the outer part of your right knee and where it meets the thigh. And your right tricep is going to lean towards the top part of your thigh that connects to your glutes. Shift if needed and make sure that your tricep is not too close to the edge of your knee because it will slip. 
and at the same time not too further in or else you'll find an imbalance in weight. Tiptoe a little higher if needed to shift yourself and please make sure that your weight is not directly on your elbow. All right, so we're ready to take our weight. We'll start with the right side of our body. So we'll lift our right toe and feet off the ground. And then when we're ready, gazing six inches away, we lift our left foot, connecting our toes and our knees together. Finding that sweet spot of balance, engaging your core. Compact, remember, and release. And we will turn to our left side to balance it out. So again, rotate to your left side of your body, right tricep to be located just where the thigh meets the knee on the outer part of your left knee and your left tricep to connect to where the top of your thigh is connecting close to your glutes. Not too far out so that your legs do not slip through your triceps. Find that shift. Fingers spread apart, inhale, exhale. Lift your left leg first, six inches away, gazing point. Lifting toes together, knees together. And release. Exhale. And you'll find that your right side or your left side might be stronger than the other, depending if you're a righty or a lefty, and if you tend to practice on one side. So it's good to practice on both sides so you can equally strengthen your body on both sides and in your practice of your side crow. We'd recommend to not practice this if you have any shoulder injuries or wrist injuries, as there's a lot of pressure on these points of your body. Thank you.